Hey everyone, we're out here today testing a new reel and rod from the guys at 1.3. Uh, they were kind enough to send us these to play around with before they come out this November. This is the Defy Black spinning rod. This happens to be the 7.1 medium heavy. Uh, these guys are gonna hit the shelves at $59.99. Got it matched up with a Creed X spinning reel that are gonna retail for $69.99. Sports an airfoil carbon frame, so it's super lightweight and nine ball bearing, so it's really smooth. And I gotta say, first impression, these things are pretty, uh, pretty sweet little rods. This, for a medium heavy, it actually, it's got a pretty fast tip, good amount of backbone, and I feel like uh, this 7.1 is gonna be a really good kind of all around rod. If you're looking for uh, just one rod to do it all, you could throw a tube, you could throw a top water if you want, you could throw a jerk bait, uh, kind of cover the bases. Um, and so far, this Creed X spinning reel, it's got a, a nice smooth little drag on it, super lightweight. This whole combo uh, fits in your hand beautifully. So we're going to take it out right now and we're going to go see if we can't catch a few fish with it. So to put this 1-3 rod and reel through their paces, uh, we're out here chasing some small mouths. We're out on a little hump right now. And I figure since this rod is a 7-1 medium heavy, uh, I'm going to start throwing a half ounce tube, snapping that around, uh, see how she handles it. And uh, we'll try a few other things, but we'll see if we can't hook up with a couple and uh, see how it handles. on the way up dude that was sweet you see the boil out there chased it all the way up that's a good one too oh stop it just come here just get over here Just wanna hold you. Oh, I'm getting all tangled up. Come on. Make that thing. Not a bad one, especially for the first one on the new, new combo. Big old brown one. That was nice. The one thing there. This fish, I've been, I've been snapping that tube around, and uh, that one actually ate it up at the boat. I mean, I, I started reeling in, I was almost onto the boat, reeled up. I watched that fish eat it, and the nice thing about this rod and that fast tip I had on it is when I loaded into it, there was enough forgiveness there that I didn't snap that hook right out of its face. And a uh, couple little runs, but that drag was nice, and uh, I'm pretty, pretty pumped about first impression of this this one three combo. Snapping this tube, it's a pretty big head, it's a half ounce. And uh, I mean, this rod, that fast tip really helps load that tube up. I mean, I could cast this thing a mile. And uh, I mean, you can kind of tell like when I snap it, if you get a rod that's too parabolic, um, you know, the whole thing will double over. This one, it pretty much just stays uh, that tip kind of absorbs all of it, which means I have plenty of backbone to set the hook on one or drive the hook home, especially at the very end of a cast. Um, I dig it. Like I said, I mentioned earlier it was lightweight, which is nice because you can cast this all day long and not get fatigued doing it, um, especially you know when you're fishing kind of vigorously like this. Uh, you don't have to worry about your wrist getting sore or anything. I don't think he's very big but he wanted the plopper. We just kind of been playing around with, oh yeah, little dude. Been playing around with a bunch of different baits and kind of slicked off here and we got on this little reef, so tied on a little 90 whopper plopper. Oh yeah. But like I was saying with this plopper, it's a great, Ow. It's a great plopper rod. Not so good for like, I wouldn't throw it with a walk and bait or a pop or anything like that. If I could get a hold of this fish, geez. Uh, get the butt of the rod's just a little too long to walk it. And really uh, kind of same thing with a popper. I like a little more tip on a rod with a popper, but for, a, for something that you're 
kind of casting reeling, whether it's a little buzz bait or like this 90 plopper, um, it loads up great on the rod. I can throw it a throw it a mile, and it seems to be all right for that. So chalk up another thing. It this rod's rod's good at good at doing. Just wrapping up my day on the lake here with the new 1.3 Defy Black spinning rod and the 1.3 Creed X spinning reel. Um, I guess as far as the reel goes, uh, I was really impressed with it. I mean, for a $70 reel, um, it's got a really smooth drag. They're gonna have four sizes. This happens to be the 2000 size. Um, it's got a, a big paddle handle on it, which I really like. Uh, it helps in those situations you're not really paying attention. You're dragging something along the bottom, you get bit. You can find that reel handle real quick, reel down and, and set the hook. Um, and the drag is super smooth. You got to test that out a lot today on a lot of really angry smallmouth. So I, I'm really impressed with it for the price. Uh, onto, the, onto the spinning rod, it's a 7.1 medium heavy. And really, uh, I mean, I threw a lot of stuff on it today. I threw a tube, I threw a jerk bait, um, skipped some docks with it, uh, top water. I mean, I, I covered the bases and I really feel like if I was going to use this rod, um, I'd prefer it for more of a, a heavy bottom technique, you know, like quarter ounce stuff, small swim baits, um, you know, big jig worm, kind of something like that. If you were looking for a rod that you wanted to use as a drop shot rod or, you know, throw light shaky heads and stuff on it, um, I'd probably shy away from this. The tip's just a little stiff for, for that. Um, but otherwise, the reel seat on these is fantastic. They got the cork and the EVA foam on it. Uh, split grip. I fish with it all day long. Uh, never felt fatigue. You can actually, your hand sits on the blank really good, so your sensitivity is increased. Uh, I really dig that. The hook keeper is super cool. Um, and I mean, really, for 130 bucks, if you got 70 for the reel, 60 for the rod, I mean, you really can't beat it. Keep an eye out for the 1.3 Defy Black and Creed X spinning reel hitting the stores this November.